Okay, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Intellectual Sanctuary of Wrestling. We have your host, Master of the Brain Damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. Covering SmackDown from the 2nd of June. And we'll build up to Money in the Bank. Yep, so we'll start off with the show. Now, uh, the opening of the show was a, uh, we had the New Day come out again, yep. opening the show. Talking to the crowd and interacting, and then uh, they were interrupted by the club. Yeah, this looks to be built into a tag title match somewhere down the line. There are a few decent lines in there, mostly from the New Day, we may add. I mean, I can't exactly them calling them the Dome Hair Club. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and referencing 80s theme music, saying they don't want none. <laughs> yeah. And and they eventually got in the intro as the WWE World Tag Team Champions, and then they and then they slightly made a mistake by saying, "Well, your boy AJ isn't here." And then before we <laughs> can even say his name, he appeared. He was there. Yep, yeah, and there was a lot of. Uh, Tossing and throwing of insults between AJ and Kofi. Yeah. I have to admit, I think Kofi won that battle with the um, harsh but brutal fact of, well, regardless of what you've done in your career, it took you 10 years to get in. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's a bit of a weird one because from what I understood, AJ was happy where he was. He had no intention of coming to WWE at the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's always been the thing. And um, for any of uh, the old school fans, uh, you may or may not remember, he he did have a few matches in WWE. Yeah. In was it 2002 or 2003? Early 2002, I think he was on a couple of episodes of Velocity. Yeah, he fought a couple of dark matches and a few, uh, a few televised ones. I mean, his most public one. Was uh, when he fought the hurricane. Uh, yeah. was, was it on Raw or was it on Velocity? I think it was on Velocity. Yeah, and uh, it was a fairly impressive match between yeah. the two of them. I think the uh, rumor was going around that Vince decided not to sign him because he was too small or something mm. like that around the time. Because yeah. if you look around that time in OVW, they're all developmental system now. They had some pretty big guys in there Brock, Cena, Orton, Batista. Yeah. So you can understand why they would maybe go for a smaller guy at that present moment in time. Yeah. Yeah, going back to the segment though, it then uh, set up what would then be our main event, which was uh, Kofi and AJ facing off between one another. Interesting match. Yeah. So then, uh, right. And then uh, I believe was the opening match of the night. Uh, we had a women's match, and it was uh, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. Yeah, and then uh, one from the fallout of Raw. This was an okay match. It didn't go on for too long. No, uh, unfortunately, like uh, <laughs> the past few months of Charlotte's uh, time in the uh, Dodo E, uh, she, she got caught with uh, Dana Brooke interfering, trying to assist her in getting the victory over Becky. Yeah, another main stunt was Becky Lynch won the DQ. Yeah. And I, I admit I got bored watching this because I sort of knew how it was going to work out. And then it sort of, seg- sort of segue into a semi-fight on the ramp as Natalia came out and went back yeah. to two on two. Yeah. So it's looking like we were going to have another tag team match somewhere down the line. Yep. Um, well, they may save it for money in the bank, but uh, in some ways I hope not, because I, when we get to the pay-per-views, I always like to see all the titles defended. Yeah. And it's not like the order today when there was eight of them. There was only five. Yeah, this is true. So we're, uh, we're even less restricted with the titles these days. Oh, what we got next? Now we, we've got a tag team match player. Kenny Long back in charge again. <laughs> and uh, we had the Dudley boys facing off against the Golden Truth. 
the, the reversal of uh, the match on Raw, where uh, we had uh, the Golden Truth instead of Breezango. And uh, we got treated to a, well, their normal entrance, but we put a bit of a jingle spin onto the Golden Truth's entrance because we had the lyrics pop up on the screen. And a little gold dust head bobbling up and down on the words as our truth was singing. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I think they put their words up because a lot of people can't understand what our truth says half the time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it should be noted as well that uh, Breeze Ango were at ringside in, I think, what they were calling their booth. Okay. They had a couple of bean bags or something like that. And they had a table with refreshments. Yeah. Yeah. Like the area that Tyler Breeze has been known for. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, this went completely as expected. Yep. Uh, Breeze Ango decided to take a selfie in the middle of the match, uh, thus distracting the golden truth. And then, uh, well, I was mostly in matches and going recently, our truth have gone to run in to take care of Tyler Breeze or Fandango. He ends up catching Gold Dust, and then, uh, yep, then uh, Gold Dust got rolled up, and the Dudley Boys picked up the victory. Yeah, another loss for the Gold Truth. But it's okay; they're still going to work on it, and they're going to come back stronger again next week. Oh, I really don't care for this tag team. It's been drawn out so long, so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's break up the tag team matches though, because okay. <laughs> later on we did have another one, but uh, yeah, slightly surprising uh, singles match. We had uh, Rusev again, and then uh, I was rather surprised to see his opponent. Uh, we had Jack Swagger come yeah. out and uh, face off against the US team. Yeah, Jack Swagger, he's had a few matches with Rusev in the last couple of years. Uh, he can actually work a good match with Rusev. Yeah, I, th I think they'd uh, definitely work a little bit better than, uh, well, the David versus Goliath uh, storyline we've been treated to recently. I mean, the, they're both technically sound wrestlers and they've both uh, got quite an aggressive style and obviously both of them have submissions as finishers. So, yeah, they're uh, quite evenly poised and got similar wrestling styles. And, uh, yeah, it, would, it wasn't a bad match. But uh, inevitably, Rusev picked up the victory. Yeah, it was to be expected. He, he didn't do the, uh, the extended accolade this time. No, no, it was just the uh, normal one. But yeah, and then we got um, another appearance from Titus O'Neil. Yeah, I mean, uh, surely they've got to be building to something here with Titus O'Neil. Yeah. And, uh, don't get me wrong, they've got to be doing something with Titus, and obviously after he's uh, served his recent suspension, what a which we won't get into. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, it, I don't know if he'll necessarily win, but it's encouraging to see what Titus can do as a singles wrestler, and a US Championship uh, bout is a good way to start it off, I think. Yeah, see, I think he will be a good match for Rusev, because they both have a bit of a power game to them. I think it's good to see what Tyus can do as a single wrestler. Because yeah. he's, got, he's got some crowd on them behind him, they like him. I'll be honest, when he's come out, I do the old dog barking thing and go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it'll be interesting to see where they go with Titus and uh, Rusev. Now, uh, I suppose, should we quickly mention the other segment that we had on SmackDown? Uh, the rather curious, but yet keeping us a bit in suspense to see where they're going to go with it, but uh, Bob Backlund <laughs> and how he's going to make Darren Young great again. Oh, wow. Now, uh, great again? <laughs> yeah, that's debatable, but uh, we won't get into that, but yeah, this week we were treated to another Darren Young segment with Bob Backlund, and uh, this time, he's confiscated his car keys. Oh. And he's... Uh, and he's, he's not allowed to run anywhere. He's got to walk to wherever he goes to. Yeah, he's got an eight-hour walk to the next show. <laughs> and if he gets there early, Bob Backlund knows he's on the run. He's been running. 
how Bob Backman knows all this, we don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was the segment. Where they're going to go with it, none of us know. But hopefully there's a big plan in, in place somewhere. Yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with it because there's only so much that you can do with Darren Young. Well, be fair, when was, the, when was the last one? Bob Batman was on the big screen being pushed by WWE. Yeah, it's been a few years. Isn't he on the, one of those Price and Right segments with Bob Barker? Uh, possibly, but uh, wrestling-wise, it's... Uh, well, I may be incorrect, but I think it's got to be the uh, WrestleMania Legends Battle Royal, possibly. Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see where that one goes from. But now, in true SmackDown style, yeah, let's yeah. get on to the next tag team match player. Definitely Kenny. <laughs> and we had uh, we had the team of Good versus Evil yeah. again from uh, from Raw, but slightly scaled down. We had Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose facing off against Kevin Owens and Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, I like this team with Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose. It's two of my favourite favorite wrestlers right now. Yeah, backstage, there was another little promo. Yeah, I believe, was it uh, technically Sami getting interviewed by uh, Rene? Sami and Dean. Yeah. And then Kevin Owens and Del Rio made an appearance. They sort of got a bit heated, nearly broke out into a fight. And a more Kevin Owens genius. Just as he's leaving, he turns to Renee and goes, I hate your neck. And stuff. <laughs> no, I don't think she took that too kindly. No, full well, that it was probably Dean Ambrose that gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, as to be expected, another good solid tag team match between four very gifted wrestlers. But inevitably, the good guys yeah, picked up the victory. Sammy Zane with a lunar kick. And then Del Rio again. <laughs> and then Kevin Owens got annoyed. He threw something at Brian Saxton. Yeah, 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 sounds about right. Went to pull out a ladder to symbolize what he was going to do with Money in the Bank. And then he got a little distraction from Cesaro and a suit. I really want to know how much they spend on them rips. <laughs> them rip suits. They're just stripper suits, man. They're, they're probably made out of Teflon. <laughs> yeah. So, right. I mean, that was the end of that one. And then uh, we moved on to the main event. Kofi versus AJ. Yeah, First time match that we've seen before. So yeah, uh, yeah, like the tag team match we just talked about, two gifted guys, uh, similar wrestling styles. They both they both like to do the daring and high flying moves, along with a bit of technical skills along the way as well. Yeah, this match was very chaotic with the New Day members getting involved and the Club getting involved. Bodies flying everywhere. Biggie took a nasty foot to the face towards the end of the match. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for, for once it wasn't poor Xavier getting the, the, the bad end of the uh, beat down. Good yeah, but uh, inevitably, as much as we would have liked, AJ picked up the victory with the Styles Clash. Yeah, I mean, busted out on rare occasions. Yeah, I, th- I think I think there's this whole thing going backstage that they're, they're not too sure on the styles clash and they're worried about the old concussion call again, like uh, with the curb stop. Which is funny because if you remember many years ago, I'm not sure if anyone will remember this, but Mrs. Undertaker used to use the styles clash herself. Ooh, yeah, that's right, yeah. There's a finishing move. Mm. Michelle McCool. Yeah, very <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, that was how that match finished off and uh, pretty much the end of uh, SmackDown. Yeah. The, the club getting the beat down on the new day and uh, 
keep us pondering to see what may or may not escalate on war yeah. next Monday. It's going to build up a couple of new matches, keeps AJ looking strong for his match with the seal. And we're going to see the club versus the new day somewhere down the line. Yeah. As, uh, as we discussed in the Raw review, uh, hopefully they hold it off a couple of months with a, with a title match. But, uh, well, that decision's not in our hands. <laughs> oh, I think that covers things for Spring Yeah. Oh, and your hosts, the last one, Brain Damage. Or Finn Martin. And the one and only Sam H. We will see you on the next one. Peace out.